This may have been the student's first time hearing from a former drug addict. I felt awful about myself, worse than I'd ever felt in my entire life. And in the next hour, they listened to Mark Barden, whose seven year old son Daniel was killed in the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. And so, right after I tell you, don't look at me as a victim. I'm sorry. I just will never get used to telling the story. The personal speeches are part of something called Three R's Day at Eisenhower Middle School in Wyckoff. It stands for Respect, Reflect, and Resiliency. The principal says more than 700 students hear from 30 speakers. We will all go through something that is difficult and tragic in some way, maybe not to this scale, uh, but we all need to know that we can go through it, move through it, and, and overcome it. Dr. Paul Wachanski talks about how he learned to walk despite being born with cerebral palsy. And the hardest part of learning how to walk is learning how to fall down. Other speakers are providing first-hand accounts of the Holocaust, the Rwandan genocide. These are very heavy topics for the students to take in all in one day. However, teachers say they do notice it makes a difference in students' behavior. You do see, you know, kids in a lunchroom, you know, going up to other kids who they may not have sat with before. At the end of the day, students reflect on the sessions. Find comfort in ways that aren't like drugs. You have to find a way or find people that's, that you can surround yourself with to make you happy. It's something that you really need to see for yourself in order to experience, I think. A one-day experience that will last a lifetime. In Wyckoff, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Three R's Day only happens once every three years. The school raises $30,000 to make that event happen. Powerful lessons right there.